Cindy asks, question, what's your opinion of the dating shows, for example, Bachelor or Love is Blind? <laughs> it's funny, someone brought that up to me the other day, Love is Blind. So, so I remember watching the first and second episodes of The Bachelor. I, I, I remember the first one and I, I was intrigued. I mean, I got sucked in. This was probably 2004, 2005, I think, give or take. And then there was Tristan Ryan. Oh, by the way, are Tristan Ryan still married? And I'll never forget, Ryan wrote a poem for her. And actually, I, I literally started writing poetry after that. I remember it inspired my poetic side. So I, I have a strong memory of that. Um, but after that, it just became, I mean, reality TV has just become a shit show for me. I, I can't stomach reality TV. And the love is blind. You know, it's interesting because egos, our ego, love is blind, but our ego gets in the way. I'm gonna repeat that. Love is blind, but our ego can absolutely get in the way. And I think there was that one couple in the first season where he was a personal trainer. She was blonde. I think he was Latin descent or something. And when she saw him, you could just see the look. When she finally saw him, I mean, she literally... I thought she was going to throw up and I felt bad for him because the poor guy was trying so hard after they madly fell in love with each other across the screen that our egos do play a part of it because that wasn't love operating. In fact, I've, I've watched women, I've witnessed women who have been with men who are completely unattractive. Look, look at them. Oh, my favorite, Donna Dixon and uh, Dan Aykroyd, okay? Not a very good-looking guy, Dan Aykroyd. But boy, Donna Dixon, I mean, I was in love with Donna Dixon back in the day. Sunny, 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 if anyone remembers that TV show. But you know what? She fell in love with his personality, not his looks. And so when we're, when we're focused on looks, yeah, that can be our ego talking in some cases. So coming back to the show, I think they're all, I think reality TV is part of the reason why we're in a fucked up society right now. It's, you know what? Because we don't have enough heart centered shows. We have dysfunction shows that are literally, and by the way, think about Instagram. Think about this, this thing called Instagram. Do you know, I was watching a show the other day. I was watching, oh, excuse me, I was listening to a podcast that talked about. Jordan Peterson was uh, interviewing a woman and she was saying how young girls are committing suicide at rates never seen before because technology has made it so prevalent, so, excuse me, social media fear of missing out has created such anxiety for people in a way that never existed before. We are in a whole, because of social because of these devices and social media we are in a world that human beings weren't prepared i don't believe prepared for we are it's going to take generations upon generations before they're ever really prepared for the nightmare shit show we're dealing with right now and if anyone doesn't think otherwise i'm sorry you're living in a fantasy world watch the movie social dilemma and by the way, I'm using social media to connect with you, but my this is my television channel. By the way, I love YouTube. Raise your hand if you love YouTube. I think YouTube is at least a great portal to connect to people. And I've actually stopped. Well, I barely am on Facebook except for my private group. By the way, there's a link below to check out my private group where I interact with members, but it's that my private group and on Facebook and everything else I could care less about. And even Instagram, I can't stand it um, because it's like that pellet, that, that hamster trying to get the pellet, the pellet, pellet. And, and by the way, young boys are suffering. Young girls are suffering in ways that we weren't prepared for. And as parents, you know, thank God my son, my thank God my son isn't into Facebook or Instagram. He barely has a, a um, I don't even think he uses it. Thank you, Colin. That's Colin right there, my oldest son. I'm happy because he's going to be moving next door to me or nearby, I mean. I get to see him a lot more. So what was the question again? I got so, I got so sidetracked. 
yeah, so coming back to these shows, I'm talking about reality TV. I think it's a waste of time. For You know what? These days, I'm almost not even watching TV anymore. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm, I'm totally immersed in Jordan Peterson and Sam Harris. Love these guys. I'm listening to the Stoics. I'm I'm listening to so many different unique podcasts. Mark Groves. Have you heard of Mark Groves? Oh my God, I love his podcast. I think there's another podcast called The Spiritual Gangster. There's my pad podcast called The What Would Love Do Podcast. By the way, there's a link below. Um, so anyway, uh, to answer your question, that's my opinion on all that. By the way, if you have another question to ask me personally like that, feel free to ask that as well. All right, Cindy, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. All right. Oh, Holly sends a $5 super sticker. Thank you so much. It goes to the Connor Asley Scholarship Fund. 